you've got, what, less than two weeks for the veterans to show up? Two weeks today. What's going to happen with Deshaun Watson? Is he eligible to show up for training camp? This is a, a, a great question that has taken a back seat to the Aaron Rodgers drama. And Nick Casario, the GM of the Texans, was on radio in Houston yesterday. And he, he said what the talking points have been for weeks now. They're not saying anything about Watson, et cetera. But at the end of the answer, he said, as we get close to training camp, we'll make the best decision that we can in the interest of the Houston Texans. I, Dan, I, I think that the Texans have been hoping, and I know that the Texans have been hoping that the 22 lawsuits pending against Deshaun Watson would be settled because if they're settled, you're able to trade Watson and you're able to get a lot for him in trip. That, that's the thing that teams are, are waiting to have go away if they can properly resolve the cases. And I've been an advocate of Deshaun Watson facing the music, having his reckoning, making these 22 individuals feel like they've gotten justice, had their quasi day in court, write the check and move on with your life. And then he can be traded. There's a possibility that the Texans are going to have to make a decision without the cases being settled. What do you do with Deshaun Watson as training camp arrives? Do you trade him for whatever you can get, which is a lot less if the 22 cases are pending, or do you let him show up? Because I think he will show up because if he gets put on paid leave, which people think will happen, Texans have to pay him $10 million to not play for them this year. So I think for the Texans, they have to ask if the cases aren't settled, do we just take whatever we can get, bargain basement deal to trade Watson, or do we run the risk of paying him 10 million? And the other side of it too, and Sims and I were talking about this earlier today. At some point, the league, I think, owes it to Watson, the Texans, and any team that would want to trade for Watson to give people an inkling of what they're thinking. Are you putting them on paid leave? You know, they, they had a lot of uncertainty with Antonio Brown two years ago. They wouldn't tell teams what they were going to do, and then no one would touch him. With this, he's under contract. He's getting $10 million this year from somebody. I think they should let the, the relevant people know what they're going to do so people can make their, their best decisions about what they're going to do moving forward.